Hi, everybody. Uh, today is Thursday, February 7, 2019. My name is Brian McInerney, and this is a short, condensed version of our water supply briefing as to where we are with water supply as of this date for the state of Utah. So when we start, let's take a look at what we saw with precip up to this point. And the water year starts in October, so why don't we start there. And when you look at October, it was quite wet. It started off quite well. And, and really, this was about the first 10 days of the month had three to 400% precipitation, and then it kind of dried out. But when you average it all during October, we did really quite well. We were 150 to 200% of normal uh, our average at that point. And then when you go farther south, the numbers even got bigger, two to 300% precip during October. Then November hit, the south part of the state and the west part dried out, but the mountains, for the most part, uh, were in the 110 to 130, with some areas 130 to 150 percent, and it was cold, so a lot of this uh, remained as snow. And then we had high pressure ridging set in, and this was a bit worrisome in December because we were worried that this was now going to be the dominant weather feature with high pressure, which is a lack of storms, inverted air masses, poor air quality, and this was December, with the exception of San Juan County, which was nice to see. There's some of the drier areas. But then January came and turned things around. And for the most part, the majority of the state was above average, with the exception of maybe far northern Utah. But this, this was a nice sign. And then we moved into February. And this is just as of today, February 1st through February 7th. This is a short window of the month. But you can see we've got around 300% precipitation so far this month. And a lot of it is a very stormy uh, snow-laden um, storms across the mountains and even at the lower elevations. We haven't had a lot of rain, which is very nice to see. So precip-wise, we're doing quite well. But when you kind of encapsulate the whole year, where we are as all the way to the end of January, this is what you see. Uh, many of those green areas are 100 to 110%. The uh, navy blue are 150 to 200% precipitation up to this point. And where it counts, this is where water supply comes from. This is what it looks like, precip in the mountain areas. And what you don't want to see are those warm colors. And we've got nothing but cool colors for the most part across Utah, which is exceptional. We'll take it, and these numbers are actually a little bit higher because we haven't taken the first week of February in. So as of February 7th, we're doing really quite well. When you look at temperatures, what we've done in the past years, you know, 2018, um, temperatures were really quite warm where we had a lot of our precip fall in the form of rainfall in the early part of the winter and the, and the early, latter part of the winter. And so far, when you look from November 2018 through January 2019, what you see for Utah is, is average, which is that white color, or light green, which is 1 to 3 degrees cooler than the 30-year average. So that's what's keeping the snow in the mountains, and even down to the lower elevations. We haven't had a lot of rain. We haven't had a lot of warmth. Um, so we're doing well in two facets. We don't have high pressure as the dominant weather feature. We've got cold temperatures to keep the snow going. So as a result, this is where we are with snowpack. When you break it down by basin, as of percent of median on February 7, 2019, this is the percent of median uh, across large basins. But you can see quite healthy numbers all the way across. Uh, you know, when you, when you see the lowest amounts, the green is at 93%, and that's up in Wyoming, and the bear at 105. These two basins have outpaced the rest of the state in the last year when we had the driest year on record. The farther south you go, things get much better, all the way down to uh, the Virgin at 165%. If you see 110%, that's coming off of Colorado for Lake Powell out of the Colorado Basin. So overall, we'll take it. That's quite good. And then when you encapsulate all this information we talked about, and this is the water supply forecast made by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, part of the National Weather Service. These are the volumes of water we're anticipating coming out of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July at this time. Now, we still have some winter to go through March and April. If it's continued to be stormy, these numbers will go up, and if it continues to be cool in the spring, cold, wet springs, these numbers will go up even more. And the question is, 
Are we going to fill the reservoirs? Well, with these numbers, we, we're going to give it a pretty good shot. We, like I said, we still have a lot of winter to go, but it's looking quite promising that our water supply picture is going to improve. So there you have it. This is the condensed version, kind of short. But if you need any other info, there's my contact info. I'm a hydrologist with the National Weather Service at the Salt Lake City Airport, and I do appreciate taking the time to listen to this. Thank you.